Hello guys, Ligo Tingin once again and I want you to show my mid-end gaming PC that I just finished assembling yesterday and shoutouts to Logan, Linus and motherboards.org I've been watching those shows for weeks in order to come up with what parts to get and oh including Duncan their shows are really helpful it helps me lock down on what I should need so basically I needed a computer that will be connected to this TV so it is assumed that I would only require a mid-end graphics card in order to play in 1080p so I'll show the components of this thing uh, bear with me this is so hard to remove uh, there you go. and here it is uh, it's currently turned off right now so I'll just get the box and explain what the hell the components are this is the box this is the box for the case it's an air called Red Devil RS9 I picked this up because this is a fan controller in the front for speed but I don't like the buttons on this thing because they feel cheap so this is the box this is the cooler of my processor cooler master hyper 612 and as you can see this thing is huge Muntik nang di magkasya sa case But then again It's a good thing nakasya siya Then Cooler Master GX 650 watts bronze I didn't get anything higher than that since I'm only using a single graphics card when I plan to upgrade my graphics card or do an SLI in the future, that's next year, I'll probably upgrade the power supply too. Next is the processor. i5 <laughs> fade. This is the SSD. And it's located back there somewhere. This is where I put my boot drive and nothing else. All my games are located on the 500 gig SATA Western Digital Drive. This is my USB dongle in order to connect my PC to my router downstairs. And see the room, get the fuck out of here. And this is my graphics card. As I said, it's not high-end, only mid-end because I consider high-end on SLI 680 or 690 on quad SLI or SLI 670. Since I'm only using a single card, I only consider this as a medium-end build. Not really high-end but enough to crank 1080p on 60 fps on ultra details on this type of monitor and last is my motherboard it's an ASRock Z77 Extreme 4 and I haven't attempted to overclock this yet since I feel that there is no need currently since I can run the games fine, for example, Borderlands. Until I can, my games dips below 60 FPS, 
that's the time where I'll add probably another 670 or overclock my processor. For now, I'll just leave it as it is. Before this, I was gaming my PC games right here. And it was bad. 720p was below 30 FPS sometimes, especially on Diablo 3. I don't know what the hell is wrong with that game. It's so demanding, but it's not even graphically impressive, that impressive. And as you can see, the specs of this is... This is a 2011 Mac, so the graphics card is only 6770M, which is a uh, very low tech on today's standards. So now, <clears throat> I'll attempt to power up this thing right here and see how fast an SSD boots up yeah so let's see if it lights up oh god I'm so stupid it didn't even turn on the remote sorry about that Jesus so you can see Windows already started And it's loaded right away. See how fast that thing is? Maybe on hard drive it's a little slower than that, but now it loaded up to origin. And a quick tip for you guys if you attempt the same setup, don't immediately rush and connect your PC to HDMI because it will show nothing because the TV can only display 720 for 80 and 1080 if it's for example 800 by 600 it won't display anything and I thought my graphics card was broken so that's why before installation I hooked it up in this monitor right here this is uh, my old monitor and Acer yada 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 something monitor it's old but still does its work so let's check on the games and I forget to put my mouse how this thing performs on games okay I'll just put my mouse right here. I'll wait. I'll launch Steam. Excuse me for the shaky camera, but I'm only mounting my camera on my palm. I'm not using a tripod whatsoever. And play. My games are installed on the 500 gig hard drive, not on my SSD, but since it's a 7200 RPMs it loads decently and by the way as you can see I have no chair <laughs> I have no desk this is not how I play this game I don't plan on playing RTS or RPG in this thing I plan to play with this Yes, PC overlords game and gamers might call it blasphemy, but I'm a console gamer at heart, so I really like using controller. So let's get back to Borderlands. Sorry, I haven't yet installed my fraps. Look at that thing. It's moving at 60 FPS. I wish the camera can translate 60 FPS well, but I guess not.
what's funny is this game is like a cartoon but it moves like real life adaptive vsync was turned on and wow it's so smooth maybe it doesn't dictate well on camera but believe me what i'm seeing right now is just impressive so my tip is if you're planning to hook your gaming pc on a tv it's overkill for the current games to go above 670 maybe when the games are more like Witcher to quality maybe that's the time that you'll add another GPU another 670 and by the way according to some benchmarks uh, dual 670s are much more powerful than a single 690 and maybe I'm wrong but if it's not more powerful it the 690 only leads a little and that's it for my mid and gaming I'll update and I'll upload video game footage and as a final note let's check the lightings on this thing oh and I plan to add fans here and probably on the front right now I'm very happy for what I did. Kinda like Dr. Frankenstein when he first rip I mean when he when the first the oh fuck forget it. You know the point. I'm so happy right now. So shout outs to Linus, Logan and Duncan. And if I forgot him anybody sorry but I owe this to those guys their expert tips were valuable and shout out to the local gaming community here in the Philippines and this is legal thing in signing off